Anciently, Persia was a large and noble province, but it is now in great part destroyed by the Tartars. In Persia, there is a city which is called Saba, from whence come the three Magi, who came to adore the Messiah in Bethlehem, and the three are buried in that city. Marco Polo often inquired in Saba concerning the three Magi, but nobody could tell him anything about them, except that the three Magi were buried there in ancient times. After three days' journey, one comes to a castle which is called Palasata, which means the castle of fire worshippers, and it is true that the inhabitants of that castle worship fire, and this is the reason that is given. The men of that castle say that anciently three kings of that country went to adore a certain king who was newly born, and carried with them three offerings, namely gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold, so that they might know if he were an earthly king, frankincense, so that they might know if he were the divine, and myrrh, so that they might know if he were a mortal man. When these magi were presented to the Messiah, the youngest of the three adored him first, and it appeared to him that the Messiah was of his same stature and age. The middle one came next, and then the eldest, and to each the Messiah seemed to be of their own stature and age. Having compared their observations together, they all agreed to go and worship at once, and then the Messiah appeared to them all of his true age. When they went away, the infant gave them a closed box, which they carried with them for several days, and then, becoming curious to see what he had given them, they opened the box and found in it a stone, which was intended for a sign that they should remain firm as a stone in the faith that they had received from the Messiah. When, however, they saw the stone, they marveled, and thinking themselves deluded, they threw the stone into a certain pit, and instantly fire burst forth in the pit. When they saw this, they repented bitterly of what they had done, and taking some of the fire with them, they carried it home. And having placed it in one of their churches, they keep it continually burning, and adore that fire, and make all their sacrifices with it. And if it happens to become extinguished, they go for more to the original fire in the pit where they threw the stone, which is never extinguished, and they take of none other fire. And therefore, the people of that place worship fire.